Crafters, Lisa from Fun Stuff Crafts here. So glad you could join me again today for another Inspiration Friday. Welcome back if you're returning to my channel, but if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and click on the link below and the bell to be reminded each time I upload a new video. So this week's Inspiration Friday project, I thought it would be fun to show what you guys could do to get ready for New Year's Eve. So I have been working on some party favors. So might look a little crazy here, but I'm gonna put on some of my party favor glasses. And these are things that you guys can make with your Cricut. And so I am going to show you these two different versions. I'm also gonna share you, with you some pictures. I've been doing this for the past couple years, making these party favors. And they're so much fun. They're always a hit at our um, New Year's Eve celebrations, no matter where you're going, if you're just going to somebody's house or if you're going to a party. Isn't, wouldn't it be fun just to make your own party favors? So. Give me a second to get everything set up and let's get making. Let's get started on this Inspiration Friday project to get you guys all ready for your New Year's Eve party. So what I've done from a supply standpoint is I have went through some of my stash of paper and I have got this really nice metallic, it's almost like a poster board. Um, and so I just really like it and I've got a little bit of blue and some green and then I've got some glitter um, paper. This is an adhesive um, paper that I picked up at the Dollar Tree and then this is just some regular glitter um, paper just from a, a notebook. So we're going to go ahead and get started and the very first thing I'm going to do is I am just going to start loading um, my mats with the paper. And I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward through this area. You guys will see that I'll be using the four different mats. And then we will get together and put these together. has done its magic and cut out all the pieces so let's go ahead and put together these fun New Year's Eve glasses so the one that you guys just saw cutting was this one I kind of call it my aviator one it reminds me a little bit of Star Wars I guess so what I like to do first is I like to put together the New Year's Eve on the front and then we'll put together the um, Part of the glasses that goes over your ears. So I have got this art glitter um, adhesive glue that I like to use and it's decided to clog up on me a little bit today. So I'm just going to use a popsicle stick and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue in a couple different spots. This glue just works great. Um, you could have done this with adhesive vinyl and so you wouldn't have to glue it on, but I opted to use my glittery paper. And so, and this glue all dries clear. So I'm just going to pop that right there. And then I did use the adhesive vinyl for the 2020. So let me just see if I can do this without getting my handy pen pin out not going to be able to so let's see what I got handy that I can use right here to take this off there we go I got it started so all I'm going to do is and you could use transfer tape if you want but this 2020 is so small so I'm just going to plop that guy right on the front and I will have the Design Space cut files um, down below on the video. So you guys can just click on that. And as long as you are a Design Space user, you can click and get right to these cut files. Just makes it really easy that way. So how cute is that? Kind of hard to see in the light, 
but see if you guys can see it a little bit there. It glitzes really good. So then to get these little ear pieces in, the trick to them so you can make sure that they stay on is there's these little tiny tabs and I fold them back just a little bit and then I slide the earpiece through just like that and you've got it and then what I do is I bend right at that corner and then we'll do the same thing with this side. Just bend those tabs in. That way it just makes it easier to get through the hole right there. Okay. And then we bend it. And then the last little thing is this one had these cute little, added these cute little stars. So they're right there at the ends. And hopefully I'll be able to get, grab you guys a really cute picture for the end so you can see what these look like. But fold those back and you have got a really cute set of New Year's Eve glasses. So let's put one more set together. This is just like the ones that I had already cut out um, and I've shown you guys up above here. So we'll just go ahead and put this together. This is a cute pink polka dot one and used a little bit different saying and this is another cut file that I'll have available for you guys. Um, and so this one has got the two big circles, and so they are great ones to just put my glue right on that. And place it just like that. And then, where did I hide my two letters? There, I've got to find those. So then I'll just add on my 2020 right there in the middle. And I'll tell you, for these little letters, I do find that using the transfer tape definitely works much better to get them placed, um, especially this Y. So I'm just going to peel back, and I always tell you guys to go upside down that way, and I can get that E. Let's put it in the right place, Lisa. Put that one right there, and then oh my Y's decided to move a little bit on me. So move that Y up. And then you are just going to transfer that really slowly and put that right where it belongs. And to do the sides of this one, you're, we're going to do exactly like what we did on the other set of glasses. And we're just going to poke that through there. So just lots of fun things you can do for New Year's Eve. The other one that it's fun is to um, make a bunch of confetti, uh, confetti, can't even talk, um, of, you know, 2020. So, you know, like these little 2020s I have here, you could make a bunch of those if you want to throw them on the table or you want to have some to throw. Um, but I make these glasses every year. In fact, if I think about it, when I post it, I'll grab some of my previous year pictures so you guys can see all the different ones I've made. But there is another really cute set of glasses. So three different or four different glasses, two different styles that I've got for you. I'll put the cut files out there for you guys to do. But I just love that we can use our Cricut to make these cute party favors. So Hope you guys have a chance to take advantage of um, this Inspiration Friday project. I hope that you all have a safe um, New Year's, and I can't wait to spend time with you in the new year with lots of new crafts. Here's an example of my 2019 glasses. We had a great time this night. So thanks so much for joining me for another Inspiration Friday. 
I hope you like this project, making New Year's Eve party favors. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell and you'll be reminded each time I upload a new video. And don't forget to check out my blog at funstuffcrafts.com for more Inspiration Friday projects.